Hi you guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for being here with me today. It's time, it's time for the most worn fall edition. What did I actually wear this fall? <laughs> if you're new here, hello and welcome. I'm Charlotte and I love to talk about fragrance. Today I'm back with another most worn video, finally. You guys seem to really like my first installment in this series, my most worn summer fragrances or what I actually wore this summer. If you didn't already watch that one, basically I go through all the fragrances that I have been wearing the most over the last three months. So the last three months would be September, October, and November, which would be fall. So this is my summary. This is my wrap up. As always, I will give you a tally up of all the perfumes I wore and then go a little bit more in depth with the perfumes that were most worn this past season. I'll also let you know in what context I wore these, how they made me feel, what I liked about them, and any discretionary notes I might have to share with you. Before we get into this, don't forget to like the video and also let me know down below what your favorite fall scent has been, what has been your most worn scent this past season. Thank you so much for watching. Let's get into it. So, fall. How many fragrances did I wear this fall? Well, you guys, looks like I wore just as many, if not more, than in the summer. As always, like I told you guys, I keep careful tabs and notes on every single fragrance that I wear. Little experiment. And as always, because I do perfume YouTube and I'm always reviewing perfumes, I do tend to vary my perfumes quite a bit. Uh, I try very hard not to reach for the same perfumes over and over again because I have more new perfumes I want to review for you guys. I'm always trying to discuss discover new perfumes and to discover new nuances and sharpen my own nose and skills. So because of that, a lot of times I try to switch it up. But saying that, I still have some fragrances that I find hard to resist that I keep reaching for more than others. So what are those fragrances? First, let's do the tally. 120 fragrances were worn in the past three months. 53 out of those 120 were worn twice or more. 29 out of those 120 were worn three times or more. And 16, which is gonna be the top 16 I share with you, were worn four times or more. Okay, let's get into it, you guys. So at number 16, we have by Zadzig and Voltaire, This Is Us. And yes, I just recently did a full Zadzig and Voltaire perfume range review. If you have not already seen it, I will link it, of course. Uh, and I know I said this was not my favorite flanker, but I needed to get to know it. And this landed as a most worn in the process of getting to know it. And so this is a very buttery vanilla sandalwood scent. It's quite nice for everyday wear, but I found it a little bit lacking in personality, especially since I really like Zadig and Voltaire scents. I find them quite unique. This one reminded me a little bit of other perfumes, which doesn't usually happen with the Zedzig and Voltaire perfumes. They tend to be quite unique. So this one reminded me a little bit of Sunny Side Up by Juliet Has a Gun and also a little bit of Adults by Killian. I prefer Adults though. It's a little bit more fruity. It's a little bit more interesting to me. This one is closer to Sunny Side Up to me. A very, very easy to wear, buttery, creamy vanilla sandalwood sort of scent. I say buttery to me, it's more buttery than creamy. I do get the patchouli in this too, so it has a little bit of that earthy, spicy, woody touch. That's a little bit of that patchouli in there, not just the sandalwood. Yeah, overall, a great everyday, safe, work appropriate, scent, scent, scent sensitive appropriate vanilla sandalwood scent but not particularly interesting to me a little bit too linear for me Zadzig and Vater, this is us still made it in my top 16 okay one of my top worn scents but there you go I was getting to know her I got to know her a little bit more at number 15 we have Tom Ford Noir pour Femme and this is an epic warm spicy slightly gourmand floral amber amber floral I think that I'm gonna wear this more in the very cold weather. That said, it still made my top 15, right? So lovely scent, definitely a heavy hitter sort of scent. This is dark, this is mysterious, this is mature in the best kind of way. This is not a little girl kind of scent or a little boy kind of scent. And uh, a killer fall and winter scent. The opening is very, very spicy, cardamomy, and it has a lot of that like rose water vibe in the background. 
the Lactonic More Gourmand Edge comes down in the dry down from the Kulfi, I imagine. Really, really lovely scent, not linear, very interesting. Love this. Staple winter scent. Next up, we have by Essential Parfum, specifically by Olivier Pecheur, and this is Divine Vanille. And this is just a perfect, warm, spicy cinnamon vanilla scent. This was featured in my most recent cinnamon video. I have been loving this fragrance. Easy reach, absolutely easy reach. It's complex and interesting enough to wear out for an event or an evening or a date, but it's still cozy and low key enough to wear every day. And so like I did <laughs> in that kind of situation, I wore it. definitely a warming scent. This is something that you wear when you see it snowing outside and you wanna feel cozy. Amazing fall and winter scent. This is a softer projecting sort of scent. This is not a beast mode sort of scent. It's a beautiful everyday effortless spicy vanilla to me perfect for the fall and winter. Next up, I'll be honest, the only reason this isn't higher up on the list is because I bought this mid-fall and this is Rolling in Love by Killian and I'm just in love with this. This also made it to my top five, <laughs> my current top five fragrances so automatically like I just I just fell in love with this. Ugh. I just love that almond opening with the beautiful tuberose, vanilla, sandalwood. Oh, it's so delicious. It's so beautiful. It has some iris in there, creamy iris, creamy and powdery. It's just beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. It does everything for me. It's It makes me feel beautiful. It's also sexy and romantic, but it's also comforting and grounding in some way. It just does it all. I just love this. I absolutely love this scent. Rolling in Love by Killian. And the only reason it's not farther up my list is for two reasons, is because I bought it mid-season and because it's only 50 mils. And so I feel like I have to, I feel like I have to pace myself with it. If you know what I mean. If it was a hundred mil bottle, I'd I'd wear it every day. <laughs> I love it so much. Next up at number 12, we have by Dior, and this is Poison Girl. And mm, that citrusy vanilla almond gourmand bomb. This is sexy, this is sticky, this is sweet. If you're a gourmand lover, this is a fabulous scent to have and an effortless scent in the fall and winter time. I will keep wearing this in the winter time. I enjoy this in the fall and I will keep wearing it in the winter. At number 11, we have Kayali Vanilla 28. And you guys, I am on the verge, or I was on the verge of buying a full bottle, but it is frequently sold out. I am hoping that I might get it soon, at least until, you know, before I finish this, this little bottle here, but actually part of the reason I, I, I haven't reached for it more, if anything, and it's only at number 11, is because I don't wanna run out of it before I get the full bottle. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is a lovely warm brown sugar floral vanilla. A very gourmand sort of floral vanilla. Easy to wear, great for layering, definitely, you know, this is a dumb reach as they say sort of scent. I don't know what to wear, I don't know. I just wanna smell yummy, I wanna smell sweet, I wanna smell cute, I wanna smell, you know, comforted. I want to smell good. Vanilla 28, easy reach, easy reach, absolutely easy reach and I'm not surprised it's in this list. At number 10, we have Bois de Balincourt by Maison Louis-Marie. I feel like I keep talking about this fragrance, you guys. I don't know, I don't know. It, it seems to like make its way into most of my videos lately. But um, I wore this a lot this fall and I specifically wore this, and I wanted to mention this, when I was meeting up with someone or people that uh, I specifically knew were offended by, by fragrances or by scents. So um, I knew I didn't want to wear anything that would give anyone a headache or bother anyone or really be too detected, of, you know what I mean? So this was really lovely for that. I could have not worn any perfume, of course, but I think as someone who wants to wear perfume, especially when they're going out and meeting someone or 
whatnot, this is a really good safe bet because it's not gonna bother anyone. It smells very natural. It smells very close to your skin. And the scent profile is a very comforting, natural sort of scent profile. It's a warm, spicy, slightly earthy sandalwood scent. Very lovely and easy reach for the fall and winter, to be honest. At number nine, we have Azaro Wanted Girl. I wore this gourmand quite a bit, you guys. This is one that uh, has a lot of ginger and orange blossom in the opening. You need to wait for it to dry down before it gets to that creamy, lactonic gourmand touch. The opening can be a little bit sharp and citrusy and warm, spicy. You do need to wait down, wait for that creamy edge to come out, and that's what I really like about this fragrance. This was very easy to wear, and part of the reason that I reached for this was actually because I I just liked applying it too. Like, look at this spray. Wait, did you see that? Oh. It's just so nice. Like I just, I just wanted to spray it all over. It smells nice, but also the spray every, I don't know. I just, I just wanted to spray it for some reason. <laughs> Okay, I have some in my mouth now, you guys. Um, anyway, lovely, more warm, spicy, citrusy gourmand. I really enjoyed this this fall, and I know I'm gonna probably continue wearing this in the in the winter time. Relatively long lasting on clothes as well. Definitely, you know, this is a designer scent. You need to apply it on your clothes as well, not just on your skin if you want it to last a very long time, which you know honestly is the case for most fragrances for me, so I don't I don't mind. And I've really been enjoying this fragrance. At number eight. I wore Van Cleef & Arpels Orchidée Vanille. So it looks like I really like this fragrance, you guys, huh? Because this was in my last most worn video in the summertime as well. But this is definitely a more effortlessly worn fall and winter scent. Very easy to wear, gourmand vanilla, complex enough for it to be interesting, for it to be well-rounded, for it to feel not uh, too juvenile or linear or boring, but also very easy to wear. I don't need to be in a specific mood to wear it. It's still a easy reach for me. Lovely vanilla fragrance. Definitely one of my favorite vanilla fragrances in my collection. The next fragrance I wore a lot at number seven. This is Jasmine Marzipan by Lancome, Maison Lancome, like the niche or more luxury line, if you will, from Lancome. And this is just one of my favorites from the line. Unlike the name, it's not a marzipan sort of scent. This is a very musky, soft, powdery, slightly soapy jasmine, but that has a very beautiful musk. It does have some almond in it, but it doesn't smell very necessarily gourmand to me until it dries down. When it dries down, it smells a little bit more creamy and gourmand and sweet, but this definitely opens more soapy in the best kind of way, the kind of soapy I like. So similar to Pure Poison. This is not similar to Pure Poison, but I mean that that kind of soapiness from the Jasmine in Pure Poison. I like that kind of soapy and this is that kind. It's a little bit musky, it's very feminine, it's very comforting. This makes me feel very like womanly, like it feels mature. It doesn't feel like something, not in a bad way, but it does feel like something I wouldn't have appreciated in like my late teens, early 20s maybe. Um, now, I just feel like very elegant when I wear this, which is funny because I'm usually wearing pajamas where I wear them when I wear this. But anyway, I really have been loving this perfume. One of my absolute favorites from the line. And I think if you really, really love jasmine scents and musky, soft, powdery, feminine scents, you might really, really like this one. Yeah, it's definitely very like musky, but like it's it's a really, really pretty musk in this. Like very, very beautiful feminine musk in this fragrance. Very beautiful. Um, very comforting, very elegant, very feminine. It also has a beautiful sandalwood, vanilla, um, cashmere wood dry down. A little bit of almond, but definitely not like that gourmand, gourmand, sickeningly sweet sort of almond. It's a very light touch and it definitely doesn't smell like marzipan to me. So don't get your hopes up. For the marzipan part, it's more of a jasmine, musky, sandalwood, vanilla sort of scent. I really, 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 really love this scent and I will stop flashing you. Next at number six, this kind of surprised me, you guys, but I reached quite a bit for my product candy. 
and this is one that I just yeah I kept reaching it for it's one of my most comforting scents there's nothing like sexy or like super girly about this even though it might look like it from the bottle that it's like girly and young this is actually quite a mature powdery musky caramel sort of scent it feels like a motherly sort of scent like it's very comforting not a sticky sweet gourmand sort of scent this is more of a powdery sweet caramel very comforting a great bedtime scent to be honest i really like wearing this to bed okay my top five okay these were kind of surprising to me you guys uh at number five we have by armani and this is my way intense and the reason i say i was kind of surprised was because this is one that I haven't worn actually for a little while this is one that i wore a lot in early fall so i find this right now not heavy enough for me and by heavy i mean it's the intense version so it is heavier than regular my way i guess but there's something still a little bit too ethereal and it just it shines in that transitional period between summer and fall and that's when i wore this a lot in early fall weather that's when i wore this right now i'm after more of my i'm after more of my like warm spicy vanilla scents yeah warm spicy sort of scents this is a creamy vanilla tuberose scent bubblegummy tuberose but with a lot of vanilla and sandalwood in the dry down i personally think that i'm gonna wear this more in the springtime and late summer so i'm surprised that it's in here that it made its way in here but there you go i wore it a lot in early fall at number four we have B by Ellis Brooklyn this is a sweet rum gourmand cinnamon honey scent very delicious gourmand definitely like perfect for the fall time I really really enjoyed wearing this and I will probably keep wearing this in the winter time as well this was a staple fall scent for me next up I was also kind of surprised by this but not at the same time I just completely fell in love with it you guys and this would totally be a contender for a signature scent for me. I definitely think it's a great signature scent. And this is Narciso Rodriguez Poudre. Uh, this so far is my favorite flanker of the cubes. I only have two though. Yeah, I only have this one and the red one. But I actually thought the red one would be my favorite. And this is actually my favorite. Um, this is a very clean, powdery, soft, musky, woody, floral musk. <laughs> woody floral musk and with a little bit of vanilla in the dry down that's really nice but it's definitely not gourmand or predominantly vanilla it's more of a powdery it's more of a powdery musky sort of scent with some wood in it as well it's a very feminine it's very gentle like it evokes kindness and gentleness i would love to be hugged by someone like this is a great hugging scent or cuddling scent not sexy in in that way it's just it's just very very cuddly it's inviting comforting it's grounding i just love this and i think this is honestly going to be worn year round but i discovered it this fall so or in the summer so i wore it a lot this fall and i will continue wearing it all year round i think it's going to be in my regular rotation because i love it that much this is also i found i find quite quite long lasting and strong especially a lot stronger than i thought it would be especially considering what type of scent it is coming in at number two this is by skylar and this is fall cashmere and i bought this new this fall and i've worn this a lot you guys this is exactly fall in a bottle this is candied ginger this is almonds this is sandalwood this is gourmand but it's also very cinnamon and spice and fall vibes like it really is like this picture here with the <laughs> it's so fall vibes like that some people think it should just stick to a candle scent i understand that i can understand that and there is actually a candle for fall cashmere if you would like if you would prefer it in a candle but i just fell in love with this and this was just so easy to wear such an easy reach i love how when it dries down it gets a little bit creamier really lovely scent very easy reach for the fall definitely will keep wearing this in the winter time fall cashmere by skylar and then number one you guys number one what was my number one most worn scent kayali invite only amber 23 this was my most worn scent you guys um 
what can I say? This is definitely a great fall and winter scent. Very easy reach for any occasion. It's that beautiful cinnamon cherry tobacco. I do get a little bit of the chocolate in there. Dark chocolate is not very sweet or sticky or anything like that. The sweetness is well balanced with the oud in here, the woods, the amber, the tobacco, but it's still sweet enough to be very feminine, very alluring. Yeah, overall a very successful launch by Kiali, one of my favorites from the line. And one of the more long lasting fragrances from the line, I would say so far in what I have, this one and Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper are the most long lasting scents. So there you have it you guys, those are the scents, my most worn scents I wore this fall. I hope you enjoyed that, I hope I hope it gave you some ideas, I hope you saw some scents in there that you were wearing this fall as well. Please let me know like I said what you were wearing this fall. Thank you so much for liking this video before leaving, I appreciate it so much you guys, I appreciate the support. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you enjoyed this video and would like to see some more from me in the future. I love doing these videos for you guys, thank you so much for being here with me again today and until we see each other again take care of yourself i'll see you very soon